Casey Jones here uh, with you as we continue on uh, in Presentation Challenge 2020. Awesome stuff, by the way. If you haven't seen, we have a new a line available of a, of a t-shirt and a hoodie available through a collab we've done with uh, Swole Catholic. Uh, so the Swole Priest, Priest Fit shirts, anyone can get them. Uh, order them. If you're watching on YouTube and you're, uh, you want to get one for your priest, get one for your priest because he's cool. He deserves a Swole Priest shirt. Get him one. Uh, it makes for great conversations at the gym and leads to some, if you will, gym evangelization. Today what we want to talk about is something very important. That is establishing or assembling your team. Um, the whole point of priest fit, why this ministry that we as priests give one to each other, uh, we're just a fraternal outreach of priest to priest, but the whole modus operandi behind what we do is that you cannot be healthy in a vacuum. Your priesthood is so dependent on others because you touch the lives of other people, and this includes your health. Your journey into health, no matter what point you're starting from, is not something you can do in a vacuum. You need a, a, a number of people to really help you. So first of all, we have each other for accountability. Uh, also though, the first thing you do is we need to make sure that we're healthy. So brothers, uh, if you have not been to the doctor in a while, make the appointment. Um, get a physical. I know physicals, we don't like them, especially those of us that struggle with the battle of the bulge, if you know what I mean, because you have to sit there and then you go into a room and then you have that moment where you step on, you step on the scale and you wait for the doctor to come in the room and give you the impending lecture. Uh, I understand that fear. But if you tell your doc that you're ready to make that change and tell him, you know, you've look, you've reached out to a group of priests to help encourage you to do these things. Ask the doctor what he can do to help you lose weight uh, or, to, or to get healthy, whatever that is. For some of us, it's gaining weight. I understand. I, I speak from the battle of the bulge perspective, but I know we could be coming at this from a number of different perspectives. But talk to your doctor and let she or he help you. And your doctor is the one who's going to tell you what the healthy weight is for you. We can't just go by height and weight charts uh, because we're all different. You might have a medical condition. You might have a medical condition that you don't realize you've had because you haven't been to the doctor in a while. Go to the doctor. If you haven't been in over a year, you need to go, brothers. Uh, this is so incredibly important. I lost a good friend this year who was 40 years old in perfect health. Um, you know, uh, because of things that we just didn't know was going on. Uh, so please just make sure uh, you go to the doctor, you get you get those things taken care of. The other person you want to have in your corner, and we already know this, but when was the last time you went to had a spiritual director, bro? Seriously, your spiritual director needs to be in your corner, uh, helping you pray through this process as long as, as well as just praying through your priesthood, praying through everything else. Uh, you might want to consider a personal trainer. You might want to consider at least consulting with a trainer. When you join a gym, a lot of times gyms offer free consultations. And yeah, I'm going to be re real. Those always are a total sales pitch for personal training. But try it out. You know, maybe you, maybe you don't need to, you know, someone to, to, you know, be with for months and months and months. But maybe just a couple of weeks to help coach you in, help help get you through some basic exercises that are good for you. It couldn't hurt. You may also want to see a nutritionist. Have you thought about a nutritionist? Uh, someone that can actually help you uh, develop an eating plan that's good for you, that'll work for you, that's doable, that's attainable. Also, too, you know, uh, a lot of us find solace in 12-step programs and groups like that. That's Those are people you might want to your team. Also consider, guys, like, again, we're guys, right? Don't be afraid to, to reach out and say, you know what, I need to go to a counselor. I need to go to a counselor or a therapist to kind of talk about, see where uh, my patterns of unhealthy lifestyle are coming from and see how I can assess that. Let's be real. We're often a part of other people's support teams. Um you know, we're used to being that guy who comes in, steps in to help someone. And we're not always good about giving ourselves the self-care that we need. So get your team. Assemble your team. Get the people in your corner. You have all of us at PriestFit. That's great. That's a great start. But we need some more direct uh, direct contact uh, with people to get us into health. So it begins with your doctor, your spiritual director. Maybe look into a nutritionist, a personal trainer if you, if you need one. Look into counseling therapy. Uh, all of those things can be great helps as you assemble your team to help you eat clean, uh, be fit and pray well, and be fit for the kingdom. Yeah.